That's right, you heard it right. I need you to help me pick uh, the last book to go into my March TBR. Hello and welcome to my channel. Coming up from the closer camera angle to better show off these books I have, because I have here in front of me five books that I know are quite popular uh, in booktube circles. Some of them are more popular now, some of them have been popular in the past. Uh, but five books, they are all book one in a series, which is not a great idea because I already have too many series anyway, but uh, they're all books that I've meant to read and that I have at least the first book of, I think all of these only the first book actually in, uh, and so ones that I've needed to start with some time. And I looked around and I figured March was a month where I did have some room to fit something else in. And I wanted to do a video like this where uh, people get to vote on a book for me to go on my TBR for a while. So March appeared to be the correct month for this. So the way this will work is uh, you have from today when this video posts up to the end of the day on uh, Friday, February 25th. So it's it works out to about uh, two business weeks, I guess not quite full weeks, but about two weeks uh, in order to get your votes cast in, which you can do just down in the comments below. Uh, you can either just pick the one that you vote for, or you can go one to five, however you want to do it is totally fine. Uh, but whichever book wins, I will be then uh, adding on to my March TBR. I'll be posting my March TBR just after that weekend, so I'll probably film it that weekend. That's why we're doing that specific date. So with no further ado, let's take a look at what books we have. So the first one is Jade City by Fonda Lee. Now I know specifically in our Discord, uh, this is very popular and a lot of people have talked about it. And so it's one I'm excited to try. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it because it sounds like it's a bit different uh, than a lot of things I read and it has kind of a, like a crime family, uh, like Godfather-esque type of setup. Uh, but it, it's always sounded interesting and I know Jade has something to do with the magic system in this one. Uh, and so this is definitely one I've had for some time and I, I need to get to uh, at some point. So this is the first book here, Jade City by Fonda Lee. Uh, next up we have Fireborn by Rosaria Munda. So this one I haven't heard about as much recently, but I know it was really popular, uh, especially when it came out. I know there's at least a book two at uh, Jade City. I know it's done. This at least has a second book out. I know for sure I've heard. And this one, as I understand it, is, is a YA one, but is like really, really good and has a lot of politics in it uh, and is focused on like two different people from different backgrounds, like having to come together and make choices on uh, what they're going to do as they become dragon riders. It's got dragons. It's supposed to have a lot of good, really political intrigue. And I remember hearing a lot of people really, really love this book as well. It's another one I've had for some time. Uh, I figured it was good to go in here also. So it has Fireborn, Rosaria Munda. Then we have The Bone Ships by R.J. Barker. So I know I've seen, I, a while back I saw a lot of people reading this. I know I've seen people more recently reading it as well. Uh, this is one where just quite simply, it's I know it's about ships made out of dragon bones, uh, but they don't have any more dragons, and then somebody discovers a dragon, and there's like a race to get it so that they can harvest it for parts. I, I assume the ships are also like magical or somewhat too. So it sounded uh, super interesting. Uh, I remember we were joking about this when we were reading Live Ship Traders, which was quite some time ago. So a book I've had for a while, once again, as well. Uh, also an option here. Uh, so R.J. Barker, The Bone Ships, is book number three. Number four, and this is one I know I've heard about uh, before, and then I recently was hearing buzz about it again, and I, I was able to get a copy. So The Grace of Kings by Ken Liu. Uh, and this is book one of the Dandelion Dynasty. Um, I probably should have mentioned what the other series were called. I think it's um, the... <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to do it now. I'm not going to do it now. Uh, Jade City is book one in the Greenbone Saga. Uh, Fireborn is book one in... Oh, gosh. What is it called? Like the Aurelian? Aurelian? I don't know. I, I, I feel like Aurelian Cycle. Maybe I'm making that up. It doesn't, it doesn't say. So that's its fault. Uh, and this is the, uh, the Bone Chips is the Tide Child Trilogy. Apparently I just didn't know these things. <laughs> uh, but Grace of Kings by Ken Liu is the first book in the Dandelion Dynasty. Uh, and so this one I'd heard really good things about too, about Ken Liu in general and specifically this book. Uh, and this is, 
uh, like a big, uh, lots of, I think, battle and politics in this area uh, for power struggles. Uh, Nebula finalists. I know I've heard a lot of people uh, have been chatting about this in these books. This is another one, too, where I know it was popular uh, when it came out. And recently I'd heard a lot of buzz about it as well, too. And it's something I've had for quite some time. So I think all of these are books, once again, that are fairly popular. So I wanted to pick things that people would probably feel passionately about uh, voting on for me to read here. Uh, and then finally, we have, and I don't know what it's, what the, the series is called on this one either. Oh no. This one also doesn't say. <laughs> okay, anyway, last book is Foundry Side by Robert Jackson Bennett. Uh, this is book one. Uh, the second one I know is called Shorefall, and I believe the third book is coming out soon on this one. Uh, so this one I know is not quite finished, but coming out soon. And this I haven't heard nearly as much buzz about lately. I randomly saw a review for it uh, not long ago, which kind of reminded me about it and the fact that I have the book. And um, this one I haven't had quite as long either, but it's something I, I heard about you know a couple years ago uh, as being really, really popular. And, of course, um, Robert Jackson Bennett books make Alan fail challenges. Um, so, so they have that going for them. Uh, but this one, it's like got a magic system, I think, called Forging. And it, it reminded me a lot of Magic System uh, from The Emperor's Soul and Brandon Sanderson. And, with, and a recent review kind of did draw some other parallels there. So it sounds like it'd be an interesting Magic System. And I don't uh, remember a ton about this book otherwise. Um, but once again, another popular one and I've had for a bit. Uh, so that is is the last choice. So just to put them all together, we have Jade City, Fireborn, The Bone Ships, The Grace of Kings, and Foundry Side. So these are the five books. So get down in those comments. Let me know, like I said, either uh, what your pick is, uh, or you can do a one to five, and I can use that for tiebreakers. However it works for you, let me know your pick. And then when my March TBR comes out first thing in March... I will announce the winner, so make sure to tune in to the March TBR video to see which book won. Really interested to see how this will go. If it ends up uh, like having one book win in a landslide, or if it's really, really split up. I, I have a feeling at least a couple of these are going to probably get quite a lot of votes. But it'll be interesting uh, and gives you a chance to uh, get me to read a book that you probably want me to read. So... That is the end of this one. Like I said, make sure you get your votes in the comments you have until February 25th at, I don't know, midnight. I'm not going to film the video until the Saturday after that, probably. So uh, really, anytime up through February 25th, which is a Friday, you have to get your votes in. So get them cast, I'll get them tallied, and we'll see how it ends out. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. Check the link in the description for the Wizardly Duo Discord. Uh, if you want to chat these books, any books, really anything at all, it's a lot of fun and we would love to have you. And of course, if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe.